Good morning, FB. How y'all doing on this blessed Tuesday? Um, forgive me if I can't remember the days of the week. It's like now that I'm not working, I'll have to really think like, what is today? So uh, I'm I'm guessing it's Tuesday. I hope it's Tuesday. <laughs> but anyway, um, good morning. Um, after the overwhelming response that I got yesterday after I shared my testimony, this has prompted me to do another video where I really want to talk a little bit more about anxiety and depression. It's one of those things that everybody's going through, but nobody wants to talk about it. So let's talk about it. Um, anxiety is real. Depression is real. It's okay to have some anxiety, but when it starts affecting your lifestyle, and and your daily day activities like it it was starting to even affect the way I have to like I did with my grandkids because my no, um tolerance for noise is not like it used to be so I can't even keep them like that so it was beginning to affect my everyday life and like I was telling you guys yesterday even on the job so um I had started doing some things on my own of course the doctors want to put you on medication but medication is not always the answer it is for some people some people need it i'm not knocking anything when it comes to medicine but if i can find alternatives then that's what i'd rather do and so since i've been out of work i've been um finding different ways to deal with my um anxiety and i've been doing some reading um this particular book you see these books i don't know i can't turn my camera around but anyway this one right here is change your brain, change your life. And this one is overcoming anxiety. And then I have a book, the power of speaking God's word by Joyce Myers. And, um, this really is a good book because everything is scripture based and it lists everything that you're going through and you can just go to the page and it'll give you different scriptures. So if you uh, need confidence and security, laziness, whatever, <laughs> determination, self-control, health and healing, it takes you to the Bible scriptures. And this has really been helping me. And of course, I read my Bible. So, um, and I watch some videos on how to breathe through these anxiety attacks and um, how to get over them. So if you're dealing with anxiety and it has become out of control, then yeah, you might need to go see a counselor, a therapist. I'm not knocking those things, but sometimes just reading books and understanding the way the brain works and how to control your anxiety and things you need to do when you're having anxiety or panic attack can actually help. Those have helped me a whole lot. So just know that you're not alone in this fight. And it's, sometimes it just take one person just to step up and say, look, I'm dealing with this. So yesterday I was like, okay, God, I'm so glad that I was obedient because, oh my God, the phone calls, the prayer requests, the, the, the feedback that I got. And God also let me know that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, far as speaking and, and telling my testimony and saying what he is telling me to say. So, um, yeah, those are some really good books. Um, and with depression, make sure that you're very alert to the people that are around you. And if you see someone that was just really lively and happy and all of a sudden they started not wanting to get out of bed or not wanting to talk and just becoming less social, have a talk with them, you know, like what's going on, you know, maybe refer them to some therapy or some counseling. Like I'm a life coach, but even some things are, um, not even in my area. Y'all, this is the back of my earring. It may look like I got a booger, but that's actually <laughs> might be kind of gross. I'm not picking my nose. I'm just pushing that stud up in there. So I don't want y'all to think I'm gross. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, some counseling. Like I'm a life coach, so I can help, but so much, but some things is out of my pay grade. So, you know, they might need like a therapist or a counselor or whatever. So just kind of be in tune with the people that you are around. Um, watch for certain signs, trying to sleep all day, not eating, losing weight, you know, just kind of in a funk for a little while. I'm talking about beyond sadness. I'm talking about when it has lasted for days and going into weeks and months. So just know that you're not alone and we can overcome our anxiety and, and we can function with it. You just have to do certain things. Um, and like I said, definitely pray. 
That's number one. And I know coming in a um, coming up in a black church, these things wasn't talked about. You know, we just pour some oil and and prayed, and that was fine, and that did help. But there are also things outside of church that you need to do um, in order to live a well-rounded life because you have to function on your job. You have to function in your everyday life. So it's about balance. Okay. I love you guys. And remember, you're not alone. I am a life coach. So if you need any coaching, I'm a relationship coach for singles, happy single, learning how to be happy and single. I give, um, practical, um, what you want to call it? I don't want to say skills, but measures on how to techniques. That's what I'm looking for on how to be absent. Okay. How to stay off your back, how to be Queens. So, um, if you need any life coaching or, you know, someone that does inbox me for time and prices and y'all just stay blessed and remember you're not alone.